Hey folks, Nathan here from the Star Wars Timeline Gold, the Star Wars Reports Rebels Roundtable, and Star Wars Beyond the Films, bringing you a look again at Wave 1 of the expansions for Imperial Assault from Fantasy Flight Games. This is the first and only of the $10 Imperial figure packs. We've already looked at Han and Chewbacca, the $10 Rebel figure packs, or ally packs, hero packs. Here we have the villain pack for the Royal Guard Champion. And again... We do have a similar amount of material here for that 10 bucks, but bear in mind it's going to be a little bit different. Now, we've previously seen that the original core set came with one of these deployment cards and a token to represent all the characters from this first wave. So again, we've already got this deployment card. Here is another copy of it beyond the one that's in the core game, and now a figure to represent the character instead of a token. However... Whereas with the heroes, so far for the Rebellion, we had a rule sheet, then one side mission card, two skirmish mission cards, six command cards, and one reward card. In this case, the Imperial pattern will seem to be deployment card and figure, rule sheet, then three agenda cards, remember because they always come in sets of three, as before, a pair of skirmish mission cards, and then instead of six command cards and one reward card, we have seven command cards, okay? Just giving you a sense of what the pattern's going to be. So it's a similar amount of content, but not the exact same pattern of content here. Here's our miniature, first of all. This is sort of our dark Carnor Jax style Imperial Guard here. Again, these are packaged in such a way that that uh, staff there does not tend to get bent in the packaging the way that a lot of the ones like Vader's lightsaber did back for so many who bought the original core set here. Again, similar card to what we got before, same deployment card. Our agenda this time is Crimson Empire. So we have Infection, which is a mission here, uh, that can reward you with that villain. Then to go with it, we have Best of the Best and Pulling the Strings. As for Skirmish Missions, we have Data Heist, and incoming transmission, both of which take place at Kuat Space Station. And as far as our command cards, we have two parting blow cards. Counterattack, cripple, as in the verb, and two bodyguards, and then flurry of blades. As for our new setups, we have our rule sheet. Here's our map for Kuat Space Station for the skirmish. Pretty nice. I like that look. Very cool color-coded off sections. And then here is our setup for Infection. Again, your mileage will vary, but especially given the fact that this is the only one of the Imperial expansions for Wave 1, where it's a figure pack that's 10 bucks, one figure for the price, this is probably one you're going to want to wind up picking up if you pick up any of the Rebel ones, just to have a sense of balance, unless for some reason you expect to only ever play as the Rebels as opposed to the Imperials. Pretty cool set. Again, your mileage will vary. Try to base your opinions of it, if you can, on the supplemental material, the cards and such that come with it, not the fact that you get the character because, hey, you've already got it.